I'm charging my electric car. Um, there it is charging up. Um, what's up, Jesus? Yeah, I'm charging my car. I just did this show. It was like a fundraiser for like, uh, AA and stuff, which is really cool. And, um, I needed to charge my car and I'm outside of a, I'm at a Carl's Jr. And what's up, Philip, Jesus, um, and one of the comics on the show is also vegan, goes, Graham, uh, Carl's Jr. started selling Beyond Burgers. I was like, what? So I came here to charge my car, and I just had, um, I just had a Beyond Burger. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, it was so good. Um... Yeah. So that's uh that's what's going somebody just make sure I see all of the um Yeah. It's Yeah, I'm charging my car. It's so crazy. It, it it was so good. It was so good. So my car is charging. <laughs> You're not. Couldn't get any sex here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, me charging my car. It is so. It is so sexy. Me charging my car. Make sure I got everybody. Hello, Extreme Chucka. Okay, right on. I do have an electric car. Yep. Um, I've had a uh, electric car for quite some time. So. <coughs> Question. Does Ruth Bader's cancer situation scare me yet? Yeah, does it? Um, it does scare me a little bit. Um, you know, this is uh, what's been happening. As they, the Trump and those gang are really trying to get um, uh, they're trying to, you know, take over the Supreme Court. Dude, raise the volume on your normal videos, please. Yeah, I mean. It's such a thing. Some of the volumes are good, and then I don't. I have the soundboard, and I adjust the volume. The interview thing is the tough thing. I'm working on fixing that. I mean, I've got a new soundboard, and I got to buy new speakers or new microphone. But, um, but also some people like I'll test the volume, and it's fine. And then someone will say the volume's too low, and that might be. Is the volume low not only on your computer, but also your volume within YouTube? Sometimes that happens to people. So that's just something to bring up. Um, 30 people watching, 11 likes. Hit the like button, everybody. Like it up. Like it up. Well, everyone's live now, right? Okay. Does Elizabeth Warren siphoning the burn scare you? Yeah, a little bit. Um, hello, Zelda. Graham, how are you? Just started watching my channel. Yeah, it's so great. Like, I'm about to cross over 50,000 subscribers. Um, the like button, just hit the thumbs up thing at the top. At the top, you'll see a thumbs up by the number of viewers. Just hit that. So... Um, what was I talking about? 
Oh, yeah, we just crossed, <clears throat> we're about to cross 50,000 subscribers, so I know there's a lot of new viewers, which is pretty awesome. And it's been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool and pretty powerful to see all of this happen. Um, yeah, it was, it's like literally we went from 20,000 to 50,000 in like six weeks. It's nuts. And it's so great. Um, thanks, Greg. I'm glad you were, yeah, you were at the show. It was so fun. Um, it's, it's been, you know, a lot of it's been driven by covering the Jeffrey Epstein stuff, which is, um, like, um, it's as important to me. And I really, uh, yeah. And yes, I do think Trump is um, is part of the, the the ruling class pedophile stuff. There's no, I, I the, because here's the thing: the more I learn about um, Epstein, and I just read Whitney Webb's fourth series, her fourth part of her article that she just released, I think Friday, yesterday. She's done great work on it. I just interviewed her last week. I'm going to interview her again Monday. It extends to everybody. Anybody who thinks this is a partisan issue, it's only Democrats or it's only Republicans, is missing the whole thing. And there's just too many allegations about Trump. Just like there's so many about Bill Clinton. You just, I just can't. Um, I just don't trust the ruling class at all. Um, so it's it's like, you know, it's it's. It's, it's obviously hard to cover this Epstein stuff because it's just so brutal. But as somebody just said, there's just, there's victims out there. There's people that, um, that, uh, oh, Sam Dean shaving the knuckles for justice, dude. He's 40 today. So Sam Dean, some birthday love. Um, but yeah, what about all these victims? What about not only the victims that this happened to in the past, what about all the people, the kids the children that are currently being trafficked right now, that are currently basically uh, sex slaves or whatever. Not just part of Epstein's awful ring, but just anywhere. So we, I just really feel like this has to happen in terms of uncovering all of this. I, God, I wish, if I was president, I would look I I would look into the eye of the camera and just say Jalene Maxwell I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Um I would have a task force and I would treat I would go after human trafficking like terrorism. I would just say we're getting that done. So we're, we're uh, it will end on my watch. See you in Minneapolis. Yes. Ron Flacone and I will be in Minneapolis, uh, <clears throat> not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. We're going to be uh, September 4th. We're going to be in Omaha, Nebraska. September 5th, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, September 6th, Madison. September 7th, Minneapolis. And September 8th in Iowa City. Get your tickets at grandma.com. And I just locked down. There's not ticket links yet, but I will be in Moscow September 20th and St. Petersburg, Russia September 27th. Um, yeah. The pedophile rings and the Hollywood stuff seems like cults. It's a thing. It extends everywhere. I was just talking to a friend of mine about this. Um, yes, I'll be in Russia. When, as soon as I have the ticket links for the show in Moscow... And the show in St. Petersburg, I will post them and come see me in Ros uh, Roscow. <laughs> uh, I don't have a show in Mints, sorry. Um, but what what is so awful about the the Epstein global thing is all of the powerful people involved. It'd be you know when you hear some story about some awful guy you know had kids locked in his you know, basement or whatever, it's horrible, or some crazy cult, you know, they're like, oh, they're these wing nuts, like, out there in the woods or whatever, even like the Manson family, like the Charles Manson family, like, oh, these, they lived in some crazy cult. What is so terrifying about the Epstein stuff is it's the ruling, it is everybody that's in power, everywhere. Like, it feels like 
there's just the way things are really there's this just evil underbelly like it's pure evil it just it doesn't feel like oh some couple of wing nuts or some awful you know some pedophile can't control themselves which is horrible and we should get them away from kids and lock them up or whatever this feels like just sinister calculated pure evil evil the more i uncover this thing and i i i wish i had the power to just just go after these people. I really wish I did. Um, yeah, war criminals and pedals are the same people. Well, that's the thing too that Whitney Webb has uncovered is it's not just sex trafficking, it's arms dealing, it's everything else. Um, it's it's like all this stuff. And it's just pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly, man. Um yeah. Let's see what your questions are. Uh, <laughs> how are things going with that Minds event? So I'm supposed to speak at this Minds event this coming weekend. And because they have Andy Ngo, that, or I don't know how to pronounce his last name, a bunch of people flipped out and protested it and everything, which is like, I, I, I don't agree with that, like, don't let them speak. I don't know much about Andy, but I know that he's a, you know, a right winger and alt right or whatever. And I'm sure he's said and done a bunch of horrible things, but the way you beat the extreme right and fascism is you beat them with your ideas. And I don't believe that protesting an event is the way to go. I got no problem being on a panel with right wing people or whatever, I, you know, because I know I know my ideas and my beliefs are solid, and I and I know, um, yeah. So, that's I'm going I'm going to the Minds event, man. <clears throat> I think it's not it's not in the same venue it was or whatever, but I don't know. Uh, Farrah Dooley, where in Minneapolis? Uh, it's all, if you go to GrahamElwood.com, the links to all of my shows are there and it'll, t I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the venue in Minneapolis, but, um, what's up? 3, 3D, 3D worldwide. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm kind of all over the place. As my car charges. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, I don't want the <clears throat> I don't want the mines event to get shut down either. That does bum me out. I, I I'm supposed to fly there Friday, so I don't know. I'm going. I'm bringing my my point of view, man. <laughs> It was just on some right wing YouTube show. They invited me, forget the guy's name, super right wing, black dude who's like Trump supporter. And, you know, he just kept asking Jesse something, kept asking all these crazy questions. Like he was trying to like get me to flip out or yell at him or whatever. Yeah, Jesse Peterson. And I didn't research the guy at all before I went on it, <laughs> which was totally maybe my fault. But I was just like, all right. Um, um, so wait, let me go back. Some of the, I got to make these questions hold. They're just, they disappear. Um, okay. Uh, yo, you're homeless, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Sam Dean. Graham, fun question out of nowhere. Best animal in the world you'd love to be and why? Um, yeah, Jesse, hold on real quick. Jesse Lee Peterson, yeah, he's nuts. And I, I, had I researched it more, I don't know that I would have been on it, but I don't know. I, I was like, whatever. He has, he kept trying to ask all these loaded questions and I would just say, well, I don't agree with the way you're framing that question. And I stood my ground. And I I didn't get into a big yelly argument with him because that's what he wanted. And I just was like, 
but I'm like willing to talk to, uh, uh, I, I'm all about the truth and the facts and follow the money. So, you know, any right wingy thing that you say is pretty easily refutable. Just like neoliberals are pretty easily to, to, to defeat. Um, my favorite animal, Sam Dean would be a, uh, dolphin just because I'm a surfer and I like, you know, dolphins are pretty awesome when you see them in the water. So that's what I think about that. Um, Graham, I don't want, uh, I don't want you to totally dish, but you can comment. Can you comment on Nico house coming out against BDS? I wasn't aware of that. So I, 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 I'd have to get more information on that. I know Nico. I like the guy. I get along with him. I don't know what his stance is on BDS. I haven't even wasn't aware of that until just now. So I, I can't comment on that until I, um, yeah, no more about it. Did you see R.T. Galloway interview about Maxwell, his daughter, and the Israeli Mossad? Oh, yeah, I've heard all about that stuff, man. Veterans funds for a wall. Ugh, crazy. You are as funny as it gets with Jimmy. Love that you do to keep all... Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, what is my opinion of Elon Musk? You know, I just can't, I, I look, I like the Tesla in terms of, uh, you know, as an electric vehicle owner, I'm glad he's making that car. I'm glad he's made an affordable one. I'm glad he's really, because of the Tesla, more car companies, like I drive a Kia, are are having, to, it's making the competitive, uh, the, the, the electric vehicle market more competitive, which is a good thing. I'm glad that he's pushing forward with technology, but he's also a tech billionaire. So can we trust him? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, is he going to be flying off this planet when it's self, when it destructs because of climate change? You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to trust any of them, quite honestly. Um, personally, I'd be a koi fish if I were to pick my favorite animal. <laughs> nice. Um, I was taking care of my sick dad who has cancer and his unemployment card got frozen for suspicious activity. They're sending a new card soon. I believe we should be fine. Okay. That's good to hear. Yeah. Again, I don't know what Nico said about BDS. Um, um, I have a lot of libertarian views along with the prog uh, the progressive. You may find you have more in common with them than you would think. Yeah, I, I'm, there's a lot, you know, this. I have libertarian friends and I voted for a libertarian presidential candidate in 1996 because I was not going to vote for Bill Clinton again. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I think a lot of libertarians, there's some overlap. There's some other stuff. Obviously, libertarians don't like social programs and helping people and some, certain stuff like that. That's where I think I disagree with most libertarians. Um, there's such thing as a left-wing libertarian. Yeah. What kind of bees produce milk? Boobies. Ha ha, Sam. Come on, buddy. Let's see where my car is at. couple more um let's see some of philosophical how could a government society be made to reward altruism rather than greed and the hunger of fame and power well that's a great wow that's a great question um well i think it, it comes from the leadership. And again, I, like I just did this video on Bernie's Green New Deal because he spoke at this climate town hall in Northern California where all the horrible fires were. And then I went on his website and read his the outline of his Green New Deal. And I think it, I think everybody, like with the New Deal that FDR did and everybody rallying after Pearl Harbor for World War II, right? Can, you know, you saved your tin, you had a victory garden, all this stuff. You lead the way and get everybody to show that working together to save the planet and, and 
and the human race, it, that behavior is rewarded through green jobs and all that other stuff. I think that's that's the way to do it. That's that's part of the Green New Deal would would it would demonstrate that in my opinion. I'm a libertarian socialist, right on. Um, do you think Bernie will be able to save us? Yep, I do. Um, best question ever, Sativa Indica. I don't. I'm completely sober. I don't smoke weed. Um, yeah, 2017 Kia Soul EV. Um, yeah, crazy to think Bernie was four years old when FDR was alive. Um, Moloch is the child of the key of darkness, okay. What do you think the end result of the trade war will be? Uh, well, it'll be one of the many things that'll lead us to uh, an awful recession. It's coming. We have a car loan bubble, a student loan bubble. There's another housing bubble is back because Obama didn't regulate shit or put anybody in jail. And yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. What do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky. Ha ah, more of that Australian humor, Sam, Sam Dean. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Um, how long does charging a car take? Is it expensive? You know, it, it really, it really depends. Um, this is, I think, going to end up costing me about two or three bucks, maybe. Um, it really depends on how low your car is and each charging, there's different charging companies, just like a gas station, you know, like Chevron will be 320 a gallon and across the street at Shell, it'll be 330 a gallon. Um, so there's some free charging stations too. Um, I get to, so there's, there's like, it really depends. Uh, and it depends on how low your battery life is just like any, like your, your cell phone battery. If your cell phone battery is at you know, 5%, it's going to take longer to charge up versus if your cell phone battery is at 30 or 40%, you know? Um, so my car was at about 40%. Um, it, at this charging station, this is a, a level one fast charger. It would take about two hours. I don't need that much battery life. If this was a level two, I could do it in about 25, 30 minutes. Um, Yeah, or dream of the day where every gas station is it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Epstein and Mossad. It was an intelligent op, but it has been around before that. It is a religion, stay uh, ignorant, make no difference to me. <laughs> yeah, man, if you, if you again, the if you watch the interview I did with Whitney Webb, read her articles. It shows how tied into Mossad and the CIA is. It's pretty crazy. Of Australia, the doctor. 95 people watching, 42 likes. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. Um, here's the thing about Australia is... Sinead, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while. It's a 2017 Kia Soul EV. Um... I am a little tired, Sam. Uh, I did a gig and I got to drive home. But I got a belly full of Beyond Burger. Ooh, that was good. Um, we're going to be in Australia because I know we got new, some new Australian fans. Uh, November 14th, we're in Melbourne. Tickets for that are going fast. That show, I could almost guarantee, is going to sell out. Um, because it's or it's not even September yet. And that show is like almost half full. Uh, the 15th, we're in Adelaide, the 17th, Sydney, a lot of tickets being sold in Sydney as well. I haven't heard from the venue in Adelaide. Um, and, uh, also, um, and then the 22nd, we're in Perth. Somebody asked about Brisbane, man, we were trying to find a venue in Brisbane, but we just couldn't, um, Extreme Chucks, what's up? Shave your knuckles for justice. Watch the Righteous Gemstones tomorrow night. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Um, yeah, they sell Beyond Burger now at Carl's Jr. It's so great. If I come to Grand Rapids, I'll see you right on. Jana Kelton. Um, 
Since you're in a car, can Darianne sing a little bit of Mercedes Benz by Janis Joplin? Hey guys, Darianne here. Um, charging an electric car. So like thoughts and charges, you guys. Um, I heard this really new song. This woman, Janis Joplin. I think she's new and she's like, Oh Lord, can you buy me like a Mercedes Benz? Like my friends, oh my God, they all drive Porsches, but I must make amends. Um, but oh Lord, like I totally need like a Mercedes Benz. Like Janice, like, oh my God, sister, we are BFFs. So like, you know, me and Bobby McGee and like everybody, you know, we were like busted flat in Baton Rouge, you know, waiting for a train and like, the windshield wipers were like totally flapping time and Bobby, oh my God, it was so sweet. He held my, my hand. Oh, anyway, Bobby McGee, you guys, we're dating. It's like um, Chad and I broke up. It was totally weird, but um, thank you guys. Thoughts on Joe Pleens. There, how's that, Jaina? <laughs> um, let's see. Are you doing Palm Beach with, Beach with Jimmy? Not sure. Uh, what's the new burger at Carl's Jr.? Yeah, it's a Beyond. They're just using that burger with the lettuce and the tomato and the whole thing. It was, God, it was awesome. Greetings from Colorado. What's up? Vein impression. Um, take control. Take control of your live stream, YouTube. <laughs> Sam Dean, shave your knuckles for justice. Uh, oh, it's all right. So Sam, for those of you who are new to this, um, Darianne's a character I do, obviously. And then I sing karaoke on the Sunday, every Sunday, 3 p.m. I will do Sunday at 3 p.m. I do a 90 minute live stream. I answer questions, but I always end, not always, but most of the time I end singing a karaoke song as William Shatner. And that's what Sam Dean's asking for. Um, so let's wish him, uh, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes at a level two station. Um, do you want me to write you a theme song for your show? Yes, I would love that. Um, all right. Sam Dean's happy birthday as William Shatner. Um, happy birthday to you. Sam, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and you smell like one too. <laughs> I don't know why I did that one. There you go, Sam. Happy birthday. Um, What's up? Yeah. You guys are true fans for sure. You're the best fans. You guys are the best fans. I can't even. You guys are the best fans. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Beto Lord. I'm glad you're new to my channel, Garrett. Yeah, there's a lot of great movies. There's so, so many people new to the channel, so. I do these live streams every once in a while just for whatever something crazy like this happens. But every Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific, I do 90 minutes of live and we talk business. Uh, also, uh, what's up, Albany, New York? Um, um, shave the knuckles for the planet. The shave the knuckles for Justice. See, I just punched the camera one time like last year and I saw my god my knuckles were hairy and I said we should shave the knuckles so now I just go shave the knuckles for justice there's no more deeper meaning than that it doesn't have anything more than that um so uh yeah and then August 29th next Thursday I will be doing um I will be doing political vigilante game show live 7 p.m pacific with my guest jimmy door and steph samarano jana kelton big climate strike in dc on september 23rd it's a monday they want to shut down everything i posted on graham's patreon 
or uh, Duck Duck Go Go it. Yes, I will absolutely, Jana, talk about. I will do a video on that. And I will put it out well before the 23rd. I will be in Russia, so I will miss that. Um, but thank you for letting. That's what we need to do on a Monday to shut stuff down. That's what we need to do. Yes. You miss me, okay? Thanks for that info, Jana. That, this is the thing I love. You guys bring up all this information that helps all of us know. Um, yeah, Bernie does have, Maggie has a great plan for criminal justice reform. reform. Um, good, used to work. It's so great, man. What am I going to Russia for? I did an Indiegogo and I wanted to, I'm going there to shoot a little mini documentary, like a little 30 minute documentary. I want to see what life is like. I was talking to somebody that lives there. That's a fan of the Jimmy Dore show about interviewing Russians and what the common misconceptions Americans have about Russians and all that. Um, so yeah, I have not heard about the planned cash ban in Australia. Wow. All right. Yes, I'm a Putin puppet now that I'm going to Russia. Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to interview people in Russia. Now I got two shows that are going to be set up. I'm going to interview people. I'm going to interview people on the street. I'm already getting several interviews just set up, and I'm just going to show what life is like there. You know? Um, what's up, West Belfast, Ireland? Dude, never been there. I want to go there. Uh, hopefully I'll meet Putin. I'm of Irish descent. I'm an American, obviously. And if I go to Ireland, I won't be Irish. I'll be an American. But I want to go. I want to go to Ireland. I've never been. Um, I should get a hero suit. Um, they're going to ban tra cash transactions over 10 grand. Wow. All right, folks. I think my car's charged up. This is a fun little half hour. Um, and again, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific, I'll go live for 90 minutes in my studio. I'll try to visit Snowden. Um, yeah, Russians and Americans have a lot so in common. So uh, it'll be really cool. Um, politicians and diapers have one thing in common. They should both be char changed regularly and for the same reason. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much. Love doing the show. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Danny Knapp. What's up, Danny? Shave your knuckles for justice, brother. You can probably sneak into Iran from Russia. Would be cool to do some stuff from Tehran. I want to go to Tehran. I was talking to a buddy. I want to go to Iran like soon, next year or something. Um, it'll be fantastic. So, um. They show the Jimmy Dore show in, in in Tehran. So people might maybe have seen me or this show. Um, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Yes, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time, I do my live stream. Um, happy birthday, Sam Dean. Good to see everybody. Maggie, Lisa, everybody. And I really appreciate the super chatters. Thank you so much. Let me show those real quick which were Sam Dean, Extreme Chucka, Sam Dean again, and Danny Knapp. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in to this random live stream, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you for making Gotham great again.